Hello everybody, and welcome to Tech in 5 Minutes. Today we're talking about business process modeling. Watch this video to know how to increase work efficiency by 60%. On our channel, we share thoughts on recent developments in the tech industry. Subscribe not to miss new videos. Let's start. So what is business process modeling? Business process modeling, or BPM, aims to capture processes and interactions between different departments and identify unresolved issues and bottlenecks. Let's take a look at business process model structure. We can think of the process model as levels with a hierarchical structure that classifies all the organization's processes to make it easier to optimize the results. It includes, first, mega process that forms the core value, next, major process that represents a collection of sub-processes, then comes the sub-process itself, next step is activity, and finally, task, which is performed to complete an activity. Let's review business process modeling tools and techniques. First, role activity diagrams. They are commonly used to denote intangible roles or behaviors desired in a company. Next, flowchart technique. Flowcharts demonstrate the stages of a process in sequential order, from input into the specific process to output. Next, we use data flow diagrams. They visualize how information moves from one place to another. We often need role interaction diagrams. These models demonstrate the interaction of various processes with each other in the system. There are two types of diagrams, namely, sequence diagrams and collaboration diagrams. The fifth technique is Gantt charts that show the total time spent on the project better than other options and track the project timeline. The sixth technique is colored Petri nets. They categorize or highlight users, routes, and complex workflow steps. Next, PERT charts. They not only show the critical path to be followed to achieve results, but also help you define a realistic time frame for the process. By the way, for more information on business process improvement, read the article we have prepared. The link is in the description. Next, UML Activity Diagram. Actually, it was created for the visualization, documentation, and specification of software systems, but now it is adapted to model business processes. Next, Business Process Modeling Notation. It allows organizations to describe procedures using a generic, easy to understand, visual illustration of steps. So which technique do you find most efficient? Drop a comment. What are the benefits of business process modeling? Among key benefits you get from BPM, we define workflow optimization. BPM allows streamlining processes by up to 50% in two to four days. It improves collaboration by 60%. 65% of survey respondents see improvement in customer experience. And finally, BPM provides higher efficiency as cycle time is reduced by 50%. How do you create a business process model? There are three steps. One, preparation. Define the process to be modeled in your business operation. Clarify who or what is doing each stage. Two, creation of the model as such. Begin by including the start point to illustrate the process. After determining each subsequent stage involving solutions in between, arrange those in order. Track a real business process and collate it into your model. And the final step is designing the future model. Determine how to fix problems in the model as is. Transform the proposed improvements into stages and place them in the previous model. Implement the newest model. Even slight improvements in processes help organizations operate more efficiently and give them a competitive edge. It makes business process modeling important. Do you think BPM makes sense for any company? Share your thoughts. Also, let us know which topics we need to cover next in our videos. This video was prepared by the Jelvix team. Jelvix helps top brands worldwide to innovate and accelerate digital transformation. We provide world-class enterprise software engineering, design, and technology consulting services. Find our contact details in the description box.
Thank you for watching this video. We share the latest news about tech trends and innovations. So make sure to subscribe not to miss a single video. And don't forget to press the bell button. Bye for now.